All right, so now you have your pendant shape and you are gonna make it into a pendant. So the first thing you're gonna do is turn it over and write your name on the back. Just write it gently, you don't wanna fill it in too much. If it starts to get little pieces like that, you can just scoop them off of there with your little stick. Get them out of the way so that you can still read your name. Press it kind of gently so it doesn't go through. Mrs. Andrews, I'm gonna write Mrs. A. So just write your name on there, anything. And then I'm going to turn it over. And on this side, I'm going to carefully poke a hole through the top of it because that's where our pendant is going to hang on the string or on the keychain. So I'm just going to use the point and I'm going to kind of twist it as I go so that it doesn't make the whole clay thing just go through and like bend in. So I'm just going to kind of twist it gently. And you can see it's all the way through. And then I'm going to take it back out. So when I take it out, you'll notice on the back side, there's um, stuff sticking out. You can see that sticking out there. We don't want that on there because it's going to make it really like sharp and jagged when we're done, um, when it's done cooking and hardening and everything. So we are going to take and we're just going to smooth that down with our finger. Get that all squished down. I'm going to use a, just a tiny bit of water if I want to. Smooth it down. And then I'm going to poke through one more time because when I smoothed it out, it kind of messed up my hole. You want to make sure the hole is about the size, the same size as the, the stick because when you put it in the kiln and you, and you fire that kiln and it makes it, it hardens it, it's going to shrink a little bit because the water comes out. So it's going to shrink. So we want to make sure that hole is plenty big enough so that when it shrinks, we can still fit the string and everything through there. So now I have my pendant and I'm ready to start my design. I'm going to take a little bit of water on my finger again, not too much because we don't want to get the clay all wet because it'll get soggy and it'll be hard to manage. And I'm going to kind of smooth it out, smooth out the edges, smooth out any lines or cracks that I have. And then you can use this wooden stick or some of the pencils that are with the supplies. I also have these paper clips for little lines. I have a knife to make lines with. Um, and you can go ahead and you can draw your design on there. So maybe I'm gonna draw, I don't know, a house. Whatever your design is that you created that practice copy of. And you can see as I'm drawing it, the clay is coming up and making like a ridge there. I'm just gonna take that off and put it on my cloth so it's out of my way. Right there it kind of came up. I'm just going to use the piece to get that off of there. So you can draw your design in like that. The other thing you can do to make it a little more three-dimensional, instead of drawing the design in, I'm going to get rid of that design I just drew. Instead of drawing the design in, I can actually make it out of clay. I've got the extra bit of clay. I'm going to make it out of clay so I can make whatever shape I want. So let's say, let's say I'm just going to make a wheel. So I'm making a sort of a circle shape. I can form this into the shape I need. It's going to make it whatever shape you need it to be. And then you're going to attach it on there. So in order to attach it and make sure it really sticks, what you're going to do is take and draw little lines on the back. Just gently, not real deep or anything, just real gently. And then I'm going to draw little lines wherever I want it to stick to. And then I'm going to get a little water on there. And that's going to act like glue. It's going to, the water goes into those lines and they kind of work together like, kind of like a combination of Velcro and glue. So I'm going to take that and put it down on top of those other lines I drew and press it down to make sure it stays. And then I can smooth out any edges I want to kind of make it how I want it to look. When I smooth it out, I notice the edges kind of flattened out. So I'm going to use this stick and just push it back again. Get that back in there. So now I have part that sticks up and then I can make a design in that. So I could add petals if I want to make a flower or something. I could draw lines in here if I wanted a wheel. Maybe I'll draw the petals on. I made the middle part stick up, but maybe I just want to draw some petals on. You can do a combination of both. So now I have 
part that's sticking out and part that's going in. So you can see how that makes gives it a little more dimension. It's a little bit more three-dimensional now. Oop, that last petal is a little small. And then I'm gonna make I'm gonna use the other end of the stick and I'm just gonna make little dots in there. So you can use your tools in all different ways to make your designs and create them however you want. If you want them sticking up, if you want them staying down in it, however you want to create your design. And then when you're completely done, make sure that you can still read your name on the back and then we'll put it to dry before we put it in the kiln.